Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Uh, today is the thirteenth, <clears throat> guys, and it's been a it's been a while. It's, been, it's March thirteenth. It's been a while since I've uploaded. It's been a while since I've done unboxing, and what, that's what I want to do today is go over this lucky lucky taco box unboxing uh, real quick. Uh, I'm not going to take up a lot of you guys' time. Uh, just want to get this lucky taco box unboxing on the way for you guys check the camera anyway um and i do want to briefly go over my experience at lake okeechobee down in florida guys it was amazing but without further ado let's go ahead and get right into this box real quick first off we have a paper here it says lucky tackle box bait change alert so um i'm assuming that they're putting in a different uh what it looks like here is from Perfection Lures. I don't know if you guys can see that right there. It's a different uh, terminal tackle type thing to use for um, <clears throat> fishing and brush and, and, and brush piles and, and grass and stuff like that. So that's probably going to be one of the items in the box for this month of March. All right, then we have our box, not our box, we have the tackle guide. And this, this is something that's fairly new goes over everything that's in the box they don't really have a price point like they usually have uh have listed in the past but they have everything in here we got the bagley uh balsa the shad certain things we have in here you know jigs all kinds of things for this upcoming spring which we have not gotten so far here in north carolina we just had snow yesterday and that sucks but here we go first up we have sure hookup perfection lures Stand up jig head. Three sixteenths ounce comes in a two pack. Green pumpkin. You can put all kinds of soft plastics on there, like worms and small little creature baits, things of that nature. Next up, we have some um, katana hooks. EWG. These are. It's a three pack. It looks like a. It's actually a three odd. Soft plastics as well with that. Like I said, we have the shallow boss of minnow from Lucky Tackle Box. Now, I don't know if you guys have uh, dealt with Lucky Tackle Box in the past. I did have a Lucky Tackle Box subscription box in the past, and it came with a boss of shad. And these things are awesome, but it wasn't the shallow one. This is the shallow one. That one was more like six to seven, uh, actually, no, 10, six to 11 feet diving depth, I think, the last one I had. And I know this is going to be great. And what boss is, is wood, if you guys don't know. so. Put this on light tackle. Um, I would suggest putting it on a spinning rod. I'll probably put it on my seven foot medium heavy with uh, some fluorocarbon light line. So, next up, guys, we have we already know what this is. Just keep your hands clean right out on the water or other areas. Then we got your little uh, color change uh, sticker here. <clears throat> Knockout Bait Company. Hit them with the hook. And this is like a, a lipless crankbait kind of thing, but it's, it's got some weight to it. It's kind of heavy. It's uh, one, one fifth ounce of uh, weight, length 2.5 inches. And it's got a little weight on the back there, guys. I'm not going to take these things out the pack. And then we have the infamous Rage Tail. And this is going to be the lizard, guys. The lizard. And this is like a watermelon red color here. Texas rig that. Next up, Express Bug, exclusive offer. This comes in, a, it looks like a four pack. Cabin Creek Bait Companies, Green Pumpkin. Probably hook it up with these here, these EWGs. Then you got your, the color changing, stick baits. And what's gonna happen is, these things change regardless with the, the temperature of the water, the, you know, whether it's cold or hot. With cooler water, I'm gonna say that's probably gonna change to a red. No, from watermelon, from watermelon to June bug it goes, and then from clear to blood red. Nice setup, nice, nice, nice. So it's like a, <clears throat> kind of like a, um, a Senko. Just different company, but the thing is it changes color, so those fish that can kind of hone in on those different colors for the spring would be awesome so i just want to go over that real quick with you guys and then briefly 
what I want to say is my experience in Lake, Lake Okeechobee, excuse me, was probably the best bass fishing I've ever had in my life. And what we did was we started out with fishing uh, live shiners for the first four hours and then decided we're going to go back the second round and we're going to fish specifically artificial. And guys, the swim jig bite was on and the fish, they just were coming out of the water. Top water, pretty much jigging that, that swim jig on top of the pads and then right under the surface of the water at some point in time. And I, I didn't break my personal best. I caught a 6'2 out there. And my, my six six five is my personal best, but it was awesome. We, we probably had maybe 30, close to 30, maybe 35 pounds of fish within the first day. The second day is when I caught the big one. It was just a little slower bite, but the first day was just it's absolutely amazing. And guys, I strongly suggest you get down to Lake Okeechobee down in South Florida and get on a trip. And in my opinion, book your trip with Captain Kyle Monty. If you want to check him out, I'll put a link to his description, to uh, his Instagram in the description below. And I actually will put a link to the, the video, my last video, if you guys haven't seen it, in the description below so you can guys can check it out for yourself. But uh, as always, guys, uh, like, comment, and subscribe, share my videos, and get out and catch some fish. Peace.